So here I am in the courtesan's boudoir, the Cora Pearl suite. Today, not many people recognize the name of Cora Pearl, but in her day, in the mid 19th century, she was one of the most scandalous, famous, and richest women of her time. And why was that? Cora Pearl was a courtesan. She came from quite a humble background, but she went to Paris and she reinvented herself as one of the greatest courtesans of her era. She was fantastically good at the theatre of life. She was alleged to have swum in a bath that was filled with the very finest champagne. When a suitor sent her an enormous bouquet of orchids, she's alleged to have thrown them on the ground and danced the can-can on top of them. She was the first woman to use makeup, the first woman to dye her hair. She once dyed her hair blue and dyed her dog blue to match. She was a legend in her own lifetime and the absolute height of luxury. Only the very richest men could afford to have Cora. So, the reason that I'm sitting in this glorious courtesan's boudoir is that it's all part of the hotel's 18-month restoration project to restore the hotel to its former glorious Victorian grandeur when it was the preeminent hotel in London. And Cora Pearl would be laughing in her grave if she could see me now and see this portrait of her because when she first came to the hotel, she was turned away because they knew what a scandalous woman she was. So this is Cora's revenge. Stepping into this room is exactly like stepping back into a little piece of that glorious decadent history. Everything from the infinity bath, that if you're feeling really extravagant, you could fill with your own champagne and bathe in, to the ostrich feathers on the cushions, to these extraordinary, sumptuous, beautiful fabrics and brocades, to the wonderful unguents for the baths. Everything, every little detail is exactly what Cora herself would have loved. <laughs> 